What's up guys? Uh, today is Tuesday. Um, not sure what time it is, probably like 11 or 12 or so. But uh, got the trailer and car all packed up. We got our campsite cleaned out. And uh, me and Ziggy are on the move. Gonna go find somewhere new to take over for a little bit. You ready to go, boy? Alright guys, so um, I don't really have any plan or idea of where I'm going. I head up the 260 and I went past uh, through Eber and Overguard up towards Sholo and uh, I'm just kind of pulling off at random forest roads here, seeing where they lead. So this one's actually looking pretty decent. Um, I don't know if I'll stay here or not, but it is nice to be in an area with like a bunch of grass uh, instead of all the sand like at the last one. So Ziggy can stay that much more clean. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna be cruising around some random roads, probably like 12.30 or so. And uh, it doesn't get dark until like 8.30 now, uh, eight, some, maybe even closer to nine now, but uh, Anyways, we're on the hunt for a new camp spot, and uh, I'd like to find something near water, but uh, from what I know in the area, I don't know if I want to drive that far yet, but we'll see. I might end up up, or, up closer to Sholo. I might even uh, start heading my way to Alpine, which is an area I know I want to go to. I just don't know if I want to go there just yet, but... Yeah, I don't know. We're just checking in to say who knows. That's part of the fun of this. Is just kind of driving around randomly and seeing what we come across. So that is the current situation. All right, guys. So we ended up in Sholo. I stopped at the Chamber of Commerce here to grab some info on camping nearby and talk to a nice lady in there. Give me a suggestion, um, which I'm definitely going to go to. I just don't know if I'm going to do it now or uh, stick around here for a little bit near to the town so uh, not exactly sure what we're gonna do but like I said we stopped at the Chamber of Commerce grabbed some uh, pamphlets and whatnot alright guys so after looking on Google and stuff for a little bit uh, there's a place called Scott's Reservoir and uh, it's only like 15-20 minutes from where I am seems like it's kinda uh, like in between the Sholo and then Pine Top Lakeside area I, th I might know what it is. I think I've driven past this a few times. I've been in this area a lot, but mostly for work and things like that. Never really uh, did too much camping up in the area. So anyways, it says it's dispersed camping. They say it's free and uh, undeveloped sites and uh, you're able to fish there and there's trout and stuff like that. So we're going to go check it out and uh, probably end up staying there for at least the night. Um, if it's good, we'll stay there for a while. If it sucks, we'll probably stay the night and then uh, move on tomorrow. But uh, we're gonna get out of this parking lot because Ziggy's getting tired of being locked up in this car. I think he's ready to be able to get out and run around a little bit. You hear that? And what the hell that noise is? So we made it to uh, Scott's Reservoir here in Sholo. Uh, never knew this is here. It's actually pretty beautiful around here. Um, it's probably like seven miles off the main main road of Sholo. And I uh, wish I knew about this all the times I've came out here for work and, and just been bored. I uh, stuck up here for a few days. So I don't know what that noise was. Can't see anything and it stopped making it. You can see there there's a boat ramp. I'm parked right up by the van over there. Got the car running. Ziggy's waiting inside while I check it out really quick. 
So this looks like a trail that you can hike um, the lake around. Yeah, it's definitely an established campground. There's some bathrooms here. All the sites are pretty dang close together, but uh, I, I like it. I like it right here. So I'm definitely going to stay tonight, get up early with Ziggy, um, probably try some fishing. And it's a daily limit of six trout here. And uh, probably do a hike around the lake while we're staying here. It's Tuesday today. There's a five day stay limit here. So hopefully when I'm here on Tuesday, I can get the next few days um, without that really many people here. So there's probably maybe like eight other cars parked here, but it looks like most of them are uh, just using the recreation area. Um, I saw two people in camp spots, so I'm going to head back to the truck and uh, finish driving around this campground, see if I can find a spot farther away from people or just one that's got a good amount of shade in it. Alright guys, so this is where we've taken over. This isn't the normal camp spot or normal campground I should say that I usually stay at but since it's a short stay limit and I'm here on a Tuesday um, I'm gonna check it out for the next few days at least. So I'm going to get some food going. I'm gonna give Ziggy a little bit of food. He hasn't eaten breakfast this morning because last night about one o'clock in the morning he woke me up to a, a huge puddle of puke on my bed right next to my pillow. So thankfully he didn't puke on my pillow it was all on the bed and uh, I got it cleaned up pretty well. I have stain resistant fabric and all that type of crap so yeah that was fun waking up to and dealing with in the middle of the night. But uh, yeah we'll get him some food and we'll get me some food too. Alright guys so where's he at? Ziggy is tied up to his chain and uh, I'm probably like a hundred yards away from the, the lake shore. There is a, uh, a tree right on the edge of the lake shore with some nice branches sticking up and uh, like some thicker logs. So I'm walking down there. I got my Boreal 21 folding saw. I'm gonna cut those off, bring them back to camp, and we'll at least have two good sized logs there. It's not much for firewood in this area. Uh, I'm going around to all these, all these trees and, and such and uh, breaking off all the low hanging dead branches and things like that but as I'm sure you all know that burns quickly so I don't plan on having a fire for all that long tonight but I definitely like to have one while I'm hanging out so uh, we're going to go down here to the lake cut off those two decent sized logs. Alright guys, so I'm all full, dinner was delicious, definitely hit the spot, it's about to be dark, we're just going to enjoy this fire for a little bit, and then uh, we'll head inside and call it a night, so we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys. So uh, it is Wednesday, it's 8 o'clock, and uh, I'm about to pack up everything and get out of here. Too many people, too crowded, uh, not the lake itself, but uh, just the camping, camping area, camping situation. Uh, it is, it's a nice campground, but uh, I don't know, just way too close to other people and just doesn't feel right. So uh, I actually got a few suggestions last night on a, on a Facebook group that I'm part of for like hiking and camping in Arizona. So there's a different lake about an hour from here, uh, closer to Vernon. We're gonna drive that, take our time, and see if we can find anything cool, and go find a new spot to camp.
Okay guys, so we pulled over to check out this campsite right here. Got some nice green grass, aspen trees. And it's uh, it's beautiful out right now. It's supposed to be like 90 in Sholo. Yeah, it might just be because it's pretty shaded right here, but uh, got a decent fire pit. Got a little bit of wood. Looks like I could probably park here and get a good amount of sun or, or stay where I am. And just through here is the lake. Um, I'll walk down to it soon and we'll check it out, but I'm going to look at my map here real quick and see if there's uh, a road that leads anywhere else maybe. But more than likely I'll end up taking over right here because this is actually a beautiful, beautiful spot. Yeah, I'm really happy about this. Thanks again to the person who suggested me come and check out this area. It's gorgeous up here. The whole drive to get to here was just beautiful. Alright guys, so I'm up here at Green Peaks. I just stopped in, up at the fire tower. Um, pretty sure I got a nice pan shot of that, but uh, spent like 20 minutes talking to the lady who works there, Lana. She was very nice. And we got to talking just about love for the outdoors and stuff like that. She's been doing the fire tower, fire watch job here for 27 years, I believe is what she said. So that was awesome meeting her and talking to somebody with the with a, you know, a shared interest in all things outdoors. So, um, yeah, it was nice meeting you. And uh, she's got a gorgeous view here. Just able to look over that for 27 years. It's pretty awesome. So I'm getting everything uh, unloaded out of the trailer here. I'm gonna get everything all set up here, finish unpacking the trailer. Uh, I need to clean up the countertop and everything like that, give it a sweep, get it cleaned up a little bit, and uh, then we'll get some dinner going for me and Ziggy. But I think I'm going to call it here and just take the footage that I've shot and uh, edit it down into a video and try to get that uploaded by tomorrow. Next week's video I'll show the lake and everything that I'm by and uh, I'll also be filming a bushcraft video here in the next few days so keep an eye out for that. So there's a lot of flies and bees and flying bugs in general around here that are, seem to be driving Ziggy crazy. So hopefully it's not too irritating or they're not biting him and things like that because if so I'll just have to move. But uh, I'm going to get a fire going and see if I can get, uh, get some smoke going to help encourage these guys to stop hanging out so close around us. Alright so we got our fire going. Just gonna get a decent bed of embers and then uh, just probably just really just get a, a smoky, smoky fire. So uh, try to encourage these bugs to stop hanging out around here. But uh, anyways guys, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thanks for watching. And uh, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, be on the lookout this week. I should have two or three videos posting here in the next like seven days. Anyways guys, like I said, thanks for watching and uh, me and Ziggy will see you here on the next one.